In video number 16 of my Inkscape series, I did a video that I like to call knockout text in Inkscape. And for you Cricut users, I wanted you to know that you can also do this in Design Space and get a much different effect. Um, now in Inkscape, I showed you how to do, I actually did two words in the video instead of an image in words, but you can use whichever you like. Um, now I did this for a reason, because when we get to Design Space, you'll see the difference. Um, if you're going to do an image, I would suggest that you do it smaller so that you can read your text. You want your text to still be legible. I mean, you can pretty much guess at what this says, but this you can read, okay? So uh, let's hop over to Design Space. Now I've already typed out my text to save time for the video. Um, and I typed them in two separate lines. And the reason for that is I needed these closer together than what my line spacing could get them. I also shrunk my letter spacing so that my letters are almost touching. And then I put these together. This is the impact font. And I went to a line, a line and centered horizontally. And then I'm going to go to my layers panel and I'm going to weld those. And then once those are welded, I'm going to take my image and I'm going to place that on top. I need to go to arrange, move to front. And I'm going to shrink that down. Until it's almost touching the bottom, almost touching the top. And... I can unlock it, I can stretch it out. This is a dachshund, so they are quite long. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to select both of those. You should only have two images in your layers panel, and then I'm gonna slice them. Now, once you slice them, you're gonna end up with three separate pieces. The color of your text, you're going to grab that one and delete it. And then you're going to have black lettering and white lettering. You're going to delete your white lettering. And then, let me turn this grid off here. You can align these back together. You don't have to get them perfect. But now this is a much different effect. You can still read all the letters if you get them lined up correctly. <laughs> but once you hit go, they're going to be on two separate mats anyway. You're going to have your docs in here, and then you're going to have your text here. So then you can hit go. You can cut those out. and. That's just another way to do what I like to call knockout text. So I hope you give this a try and join me in my next video. Thanks for watching.